My name is Chris Pittenger. I'm an assistant professor of psychiatry, psychology, and in the Child Study Center here at Yale. And I'm the director of the Yale OCD Research Clinic. The Yale OCD Research Clinic's been around since the mid-1980s when it was founded by Wayne Goodman, Dennis Charney, and some of their colleagues. And back then it was the site of some of the really foundational advances in our current understanding of OCD and of its treatment with medications. These days, we're very focused on two things. One is trying to better understand what's going on in the brain in people with OCD. How have things gone awry? Uh, ultimately, with the goal of getting better at diagnosing it, treating it, and, uh, and ideally preventing it. That would be the, the ultimate goal. Um, the other half of what we do is looking at new treatments. So in OCD, there are two problems with treatment. One is that a great many people who suffer from obsessive compulsive disorder don't get optimal treatment for a variety of reasons. Um, some of them having to do with people hiding their symptoms and not coming to treatment, others having to do with clinicians not always knowing the best treatments available. Um, but unfortunately then, even if people do get optimal treatment, the very best we have to offer with both psychotherapy and pharmacological treatment, about 30% of them don't really have any meaningful response. And even of those who do respond, a lot of them, their, their symptoms get better, but they don't get enough better for them really to live full lives. So we're very focused on this unmet need. The people who are best current treatments can't help, or at least don't help enough. So a unifying theme in a lot of our recent research has been focusing on a particular neurotransmitter in ENOCD. It's called glutamate. So neurotransmitters are these small chemicals that communicate between neurons. And neurotransmitters and the, the receptors, the, the proteins they bind to on the surfaces of neurons, are the targets of many of the psychiatric drugs that are effective in depression and a variety of other illnesses and OCD. Um, the neurotransmitter glutamate hasn't been a big focus of attention in uh, psychiatry until the last 10 or 15 years. Uh, and it's been a focus in, in OCD over the last, we, we started thinking about it eight or nine years ago, but really the last five years it's become a major focus because of a, several different findings that have made the, the field take a lot of interest in this work. Um, neurologists have been interested in glutamate imbalances in other conditions, and for that reason there's some drugs available that moderate glutamate, and th that's fortunate. So we've started using some of those drugs. Our, our earliest efforts were with a drug called Riliazole, which is uh, a glutamate modulator. It affects glutamate in the brain in a variety of different ways. And our early, uh, our early efforts suggest that in some of these patients who don't respond to standard treatments, that they, they can get some benefit from Riliazole. We're towards the end of it, what we hope will be a, a, a more definitive study, a placebo-controlled study of Riliazole in those patients at the moment. We're hoping that that'll increase our, our confidence that this really is something that we can urge people to consider. We're about to start another study that we're really quite excited about for a couple of reasons. It's using a, a new medication that was developed by Roche Pharmaceuticals. It's called betapertin. Uh, unlike Riliazole, which is uh, an earlier thing that we've, an earlier medication that I told you about, um, betapertin is not yet FDA approved or widely available. It's been developed by Roche over the last several years to treat schizophrenia, and they're hopeful that it'll be available for that within the next year or two. We, together with a bunch of other sites around the country, are, are just initiating a study uh, to see if betapertin can help people with OCD who, again, have been refractory to the best medical, uh, medication treatment that we have to offer. Betapertin works, uh, it doesn't actually work on glutamate, it works on another molecule called glycine, but glutamate and glycine are intimately related in the brain, and so we see betapertin as another way to get into modulating the glutamate system, and that's how it fits into the research that's been going on in our clinic really for the last 10 years. So we're, as I said, we've just started recruiting patients for this study, people who have uh, refractory OCD, meaning they're still suffering despite treatment with of the available medications, and perhaps despite good expert psychotherapy, um, to see if this, if this medication will help them.